Well, here I am with a pair of video sunglasses I just bought. This is an unboxing. I just have to figure out where I want to open it. Let's see. Let's get this thing open. All right. Look at that. And it's Wi-Fi. There it is. I don't know how you pronounce the name. N-E-U-R-O-N-A. When this pair of sunglasses first came out, they were $200 last year, almost $200. And then I think QVC or HSN, they put it on sale for about $165. Now I guess they're dropping down. I've seen them. Amazon's got them. A lot of places got them. I got these on eBay. And there is the box. I'll put the box there. And here are the glasses. Okay, I'm going to put on my glasses so I can read a little bit of this. 100% UV protection. So I can wear these outside and not have to worry about it. I knew that before I bought it. Okay, let's get this. And there they are. Now I have no idea how to work this. Now let's put these on see what they look like. But I know I've got to put a microchip in it. And I'm going to put a 32. They take a 32. And I can do videotaping. The good thing about these glasses, they've got multiple things. Let me take a look. I'm going to put on my reading glasses from the 99 cent store. Um, here's the instructions. You probably can't see it. But the, they are set up for Wi-Fi. So you could hook up an app to your phone. And while you're recording, you could be sending it to your phone. That's, that's really cool. What I like about that is if I put these on, and I set up the app on my phone, I'll be able to see exactly where is the perfect way to hold my head to get the best shot that I want. Also, these are 1080, which are really good. It's um, got a lot of, um, how would you say, it's better than the 720s have less frames per second than the 1080. So it should be a smoother, clearer picture. But that's pretty much it. It's got the recording light when you Turn it on, the mic, I'm going to have to charge them up. And um, got a reset button. Hopefully once I set it, I don't need to use that. Battery indicator, USB port. It, it's got the slot inside. Interesting. You have to open it up right inside there like a camera. You open up the inside of the glasses there. And you put in your micro, your micro card, micro SD card. And then you record. And let me see if, what else it comes with. Because I have no idea. I've seen these before. I just saw it online and I thought, this is really good. Okay, it comes with a case. Let's see what's in the case. Nice case. Really good hard case, which is good. You don't want to break... I don't need these. You don't want to break the glasses. Let's see. And yes, there's your USB cord. These plug into the sunglasses. It comes with your cleaning cloth. And then once you plug it in to your computer, you can charge it that way. And on top of that, you can download your photos and your videos that you've done. I wanted to go over some of the specs on this, which I think is amazing. This camera, this camera, let me move my camera. These glasses are 12 megapixels. That's like the original cameras came out were 12. That's actually very good. It's got two settings as far as videos. It's got the 1080 and the 720, so I'm going to have to figure out how to set it. Uh, of course, it's got your, um, your rechargeable battery in it. As far as duration, it says it goes 80 minutes when the Wi-Fi is off. And if you have the Wi-Fi on, the battery will last 45 minutes. This is all approximately. Um, it's got a vibration alert, which is interesting, and I don't know what that means. So I guess if it's shaking, it will try to stop the shake like a lot of the cameras do. But that's it. I just wanted to go over the specs on that. I'm not sure if you can see this. This is the instructions. And it goes on um, all about it, on how to use it, both sides. All in English. So I guess if you needed a different language, you would have to go look for it. Because the instruction booklet that came is only in English, both sides. 
tells you about the battery, tells you about the recording light, what the red light means, the vibration alert. It tells you everything you need to know. Um, the red light will tell you if it's got a full charge. It's, it's got all your information. I think it's got a lot here. This should be quite good. And I'm very anxious to use this. So we will test it out in a couple different places. I'll try to test it inside and outside. Now keep in mind, that is your le camera lens. So you really will need to use this in a well-lit area. This is my camera lens on my smaller camera. And it doesn't even do that great in the house. So you've got to think about it. It's the amount of light that a lens is bringing in. And that's why the bigger the lens you've got, the less you have to worry about the amount of light because the camera will have enough light to keep everything clear, to get a good clear shot. So you will have to use this in a well-lit area. It, you can't just use it in a dark room. If it had night vision, I have a camera that's got night vision, then it wouldn't matter, but there's no night vision. So it will have to be outside or in the house where you know, you've got plenty of light on. Um, they're kind of comfortable. I mean, I guess they're comfortable. They're very clear. I actually prefer sunglasses that have a gray tint to it. Some people like yellow or green or red. I don't know. I prefer my sunglasses that I wear when I go out to have a gray tinge to it. This has got the gray tint. So it's very comfortable as far as wearing it. So now it's just a matter of charging them up. And I'll get, it, get some videos up and show you what it, it looks like. They are a pricier than the cheap knockoffs you can buy. I call them knockoffs. It's just other brands. We did buy a pair that were $20. And it, it, they jumped because of the resolution. And it wasn't 12 megapixels. I believe the other one was 5. So this is 12. And that's, that's really, really good. So it's got more megapixels. So you'll have a, a clearer, better picture. Um... And this is, like I said, it was a name brand. They were pricey when they first came out. About a year ago they came out, and I saw them for, oh, I, some places were over $200. Okay. And it's just a matter of getting used to where the camera is, because your eyes are looking out this way, and the camera's looking this way. So you have to, and everybody holds their head different. So that's why I think it's really crazy that you can put it on an app on your phone, if your phone is able to get the app. I heard some people couldn't. But if you can get the app, then you'll know exactly, okay, I want a good clear shot and I gotta hold my head this way or I gotta hold this way or this way or this way. Whatever way you'll have an idea when you're looking at your phone, which way works for you and then you can do your video, videoing. It will never, never be as good as a camera. It can't. Your camera's got a lens on it. That's why you don't need a flash for everything. It brings the light in and you get a good clear shot. As far as this, that is your lens. It's smaller than your your nail on your pinky it's it's very very small I don't know if you can see it that is the lens right smack in the middle so you got to keep that in mind it's a small lens so you will you will need to be in a well lit area probably outside if it was still cloudy it would be fine but you will need light for this lens but this should be great you know where when I go to the plant nursery or something. These should be really good. So let's go try them out and see how the videos are and I'll put them on here and we'll see how it is. So these are the new glasses I bought that are 1080. I did do an, a box opening on the other ones that were cheaper. I think they were 720s. They were really low grade, but they work good for my own research. But these are the 1080s. And look how nice they are. I, I think they come out really nice. Here's my sprouting broccoli. Look how it grows. All these are turning into broccoli heads. Look at this. And the rain really brought out a lot of this. I've got seeds. And now I can use two hands and show you. But let me tell you real quick. I know people that are watching this just to see how the glasses work are probably not interested in this. Here's some more. These are all green seeds. 
and they'll be uh, turning brown soon and then you can plant well here's some seeds see there might be some seeds in here let's see the birds have been eating a lot and when I want to save some I just put a bag on top see here are seeds there are seeds in here now the problem with these seeds see here's look at all the sprouting broccoli you just snap them off and eat them all mm, they're so good I can use Okay, the problem with these seeds is my sprouting broccoli from these seeds are not growing true. And that is because the collard, which is back here, this is the collard. See this? The collard's got seeds. Had also, this is regular plain old collard. It went to flower at the same time that the sprouting broccoli did. And I ended up, because I planted some seeds with plants like this. Now I did deadhead it, so it is growing broccoli in between. But look how big the leaves are and the trunk. Here's another one. It's a little different, the plant. It has a little bit more characteristics of the collard. But I'm going to pick this tonight and eat this. Ooh, some bird must have come and pulled a little piece out. So that's why I'm not really going to collect the seeds to save or try to, you know, get to anybody because it's going to grow more kind of like a collard. See my collard down there? That's, that's all collard. That just grows a massive trunk on it and big leaves. And that's what this broccoli is doing because some of them, and it may not be all the seeds on there, but some of the seeds have crossed. Well, anyways, this is how the glasses are working. Look at this popolo. Look at this. You would think I have millions of popolo seeds all over. I do. But as far as plants, no, because the seedlings are a favorite of the birds. And when they see the seedlings come up in the wood chips, they eat them right away. They didn't get to that one, and they didn't get to the one down there. But anyways, this is testing the glasses. Seems to be doing quite well. The camera is in the center of the glasses, so I just have to remember to slightly tip down a little bit and walk very slowly. And I think they're gonna be really good. I won't be using them for a lot of videos, but for segments that I wanna do two hands, if I wanted to show something, you know, maybe there that way, or I will also take them places with me so I could do quick videos on things that, like maybe walking around a farmer's market. They really are comfortable on, and I really like that the glasses are gray tinted. So the color on everything for me, as I look through it, looks really, really good. And it doesn't have that yellow or red. Some glasses are yellow, some glasses are red. Some are even blue. This is a gray tint. It's really nice. So the sun doesn't bother me. It's 100% UV, the ones that I'm showing you now. So I will be using them on, you know, for that respect. The cheaper ones that I bought, I'm still going to use. I'm going to just have those in my purse. And when I go somewhere, if there's something I want to tape really fast, I can just tape it that way. So with that, this is the glass test. And that's what I wanted to show. Two hands. Look at this. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.